to return in case you've missed something. Still in London, this time for the 1972 Canoe Exhibition, with displays like this presented by the British Canoe Union and the Central Council of Physical Recreation. Held at the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre, the show also runs films and exhibition stands. British interest in canoeing as a sport started about 1865. Now the business side paddles its own canoe to the tune of about one and a half million pounds a year, and that's in the home market alone. Even fashion's involved. Here's what the smart canoeist will be wearing this year. And then, of course, there's jewellery for canoodlers, rings like these, or a tie-pin for him. The do-it-yourself section, very popular, maybe because it represents a challenge, and, of course, it's cheaper. And canoe polo provides a new alternative game for those wet Sunday afternoons. It was devised only a few years ago. Already this year, 90 teams have been formed, and there are five people to each team. The action's fast, at times furious, and not surprisingly, wet. Canoeing, of course, is included in the Olympics. Who knows, there might be a number of potential entrants here now. There's been increasing interest in this sport recently, but the hardest part is learning how to play the game the right way up. <laughs> 